Hello everyone, this is Kaiba. Namaste. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to talk about the education, the math education of India and Korea. When I was nine years old, I think I was between seven to nine years old. At that time, I was really into learning the multiplication table. So two times two, like square of two, square of eight, 64. And at that time, I felt as an eight year or seven years old child, I felt like this is the biggest obstacle I've ever faced in my life. And one day, my mom came to me. She showed me a piece of paper and I was like, what is this mom? And she told me that Kaifa. So this is what the children of India are memorizing while you are struggling with those square of nine and square of six like the multiplication table which is until square of nine okay let me see and i saw it and it was written until square of 19. i really remember my mom telling me that children of your age kaeva in india there's a country named india there are also a lot of children of your age about eight years old they are memorizing until square of 19. That was like an eight years old. That was my first, very first impression about India. Yes, I think she used that example to motivate me. Is it really the case for India students to memorize the multiplication table until square of 19? Is it the case for all of the students of India? I think it is. And what I really want to talk about today is what South Korea and India have in common is the fact that we, both countries, do not let high school students to use calculator during their college entrance exam. What I saw in some kind of documentary film or something about India's math education system, I just watched it really briefly, but I saw a math teacher in India. Personally, I think the reason why the students of India excel in terms of math and science especially, I've heard that the students of India actually learn how to use the abacus machine. Imagine that there is abacus machine and they will do like move the, you will just arrange the abacus machine and you will move around all those stones in that machine. And before realizing that this was actually about like abacus machine, I thought that they have secret that only the Indian people share between them. I felt like that at first, but after all, I got to understand they are actually having their imaginary abacus machine in front of them, and they will solve those difficult, like complicated math problems. In my eyes, when the children, the Indian children were doing this imaginary abacus math solving thing, like they looked really happy actually. The children like were really smiling and they're like doing the abacus thing. Students of India are really taught to enjoy math. I think they get to know the pleasure of learning math, which is much more happier which is much more fun. The teachers of India taught this way of solving those math problems. They used this kind of method to let their students really enjoy the pleasure of studying math. So if you use this abacus machine, I think it will feel like just a really fun game and really nice like kind of mission to complete, like using this like abacus machine and also like learning those principles so the numbering systems or the numbers of math or the kind of the basic like things when it comes to your mind for the very first time when you're in elementary school period, it will not approach as something really stressful thing or something beyond your ability, but it will really make you feel that this is just a really fun thing that they can enjoy for the Indian students. This is the very big difference between the math education system between like India, not only between India and Korea, but India versus the rest of the world. I was really like kind of interested in kind of educating those children with math 
and I was also like interested in why India is really good at math and science. India or Korea or other countries math education. If you have any interesting ideas about that, please leave in the comments below and I'll be happy to read those things. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!